She tried to hide it, but it came out, at least us. Pelosi took her son, Paul Jr., on this last trip to Asia and to Ukraine. Turns out Paul Jr. is on the boards of two lithium companies in Taiwan. Even though Biden told her she shouldn't go, she did it anyways. Her office blocked his name out of any time it was mentioned in official records. Now we know why she went. Looks like another Hunter situation. Now, capitalism always takes the blame for cronyism and crony politics and crony corporatism and all of this garbage that is always the state. It's the state. It's people that get in positions of power that have rules for others and not thee, that can bend the rules or do things or just not get prosecuted because they got friends that are the prosecutors. Like, this is the problem with the state. And the state, when it intervenes in markets, always creates issues, distortions, monopolies, inflation, government intervention, and anything that causes one person to have an unfair advantage. That's really the, th the simplest way to think about politics, giving somebody an unfair advantage. When you muddle that with business and corporations, you get the, the gross American capitalism, at least at the higher ends, that you have. Small business owners, on the other hand, the amount of things you have to pay for, the amount of taxes and regulations and things, this, that, like, and in some industries, you can't even play the game. Like, you need millions just to play the game. <laughs> it's always the state and it's always politicians. It's never markets. Markets are efficient at giving people what they want. That's what they do. That's why we have so much freaking prosperity in this planet, despite governments mingling. And because the U.S. government has been mingling every year with every new politician, every new promise, every new campaign, every new law, every new regulation, every single year, it gets harder and harder. And we move further away from markets, which are what bring prosperity to humanity. And the more it goes on, as we've seen throughout history, the more rights you take away from markets and people, the more things that you do to benefit yourself, the more nepotism like this that we see, the closer you get to revolution. Now, I don't necessarily think it's going to be a bloody revolution. I think we're more in an information age. It's going to be in a, I mean, some say we're already in a civil war in America. It's a, it's a civil war of ideas. People are hashtagging uh, national divorce where we should break up and states should go their separate ways. I actually kind of been in favor of that. I think it would be actually be a good thing. Uh, but the more this crap goes on, the worse it gets for the average person and the closer we get to the entire thing coming down.